Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 3. And in this series we are focusing on the Northern Bulls flavor pack and what it all brings to the table. And therefore we are creating a Grand Empire, a Empire of Man in the Isles. We're led by our Emperor Bergfor Raffelson. I almost want to say Forbrander Raffelson, but I think that was his father. Keep doing that. Uh oh. No, not my wife, but she is rackish. I mean, she might have another person somewhere in the brothels. Darn it. Come on, siege this faster. Faster, I say. Wait, what happened to my son? Why, why don't I have control of my son again? Oh, because he has been remade into the Duke of the area. <laughs> okay, I guess. The count hook on me has expired. Okay. Apparently somebody else has been made yet again Queen of East Francia. That keeps happening. Let's beat these guys up. Then let's go here and beat these guys up. And then we need to go all the way up here and beat some guys up. And I'm noticing that uh, actually East Francia is quite willing to help his allies. So we'll re-raise everything over there as we are sieging down here. And th this war should be nearly done. In fact, I probably didn't need to raise them. Oh, a life to remember. Gudmundre. Oh, my brother died. Died of his wounds. The reason death... Uh, preparation for review will begin. Holy heck. We'll do a small symbolic ship. I mean, we had to fight for his claims. That did gain us a, a, a nice little piece of land. But, uh, you know, there is a limit. My brother didn't do much beyond that. What did he ever do for the Empire other than having a claim that his brother the Emperor had to fight for, right? Right. There you go. A life to remember, Gudmundr. Gudmundr has a sin had a single drive, perhaps that's why he's so considered such a fine yard. A feat that he may be never surpassed in. Uh, the barrel behind me already contains a small fastball of a ship traced in the weighty headstones and filled with cobbles. It's already buried neath a weighty grave of earth. For taking this carry in the last of the burial treasures, then finally Gudmundo's skull was laid atop of the beer. And here I lose stress from that. Maybe it's, uh, possibly because I made such a big ship. Uh, you guys. Beat this army into oblivion. Preferably before they de-siege, but of course they siege before I get that done. Uh, just leave behind a small force and everybody else go to smack this army up again. And uh, then the man in the meantime a victory on the Aglabit so that we can go over here. Because it's an act of tyranny. Really now. Hmm. Negotiate release. No. Sorry. Ransom. For favor. Yes. I should have enough on these people that I could do this. Like, I should have enough prisoners, is what I mean. For a favor. Just wanted to do that. And you, who probably were the Duke, I reckon. Let's mm, ransom your wife. For a favor. And with that... For instance, you demand conversion using a hook. Oh boy, howdy, the uh... Oh, I think you will do exactly as I say. Then you died, that is not good. We still have to do a lot of ransoms. I actually was a little too excited with this episode to uh, record it that I and didn't really wait. Oh, I have one from you. Thank you. That is your troops gone. Now we can handle the French troops. 
destroying them, make them a lot weaker. Gain then uh, the Duke of Corsica's daughter. You know what, you're gonna ransom yourself first. Because that means that you can, I will gain all your money. And then we can just enforce the mans over there. There we go. And yes, if you were wondering, that is indeed a new king of Frisia. The other one died in between the, or during the war. So, uh, unfortunately, not an easy new attack target. But we'll just have to let them be. Do raise a rune stone. Always raise a rune stone. Uh, yeah, sure. Of my defeated um, uh, opponent. You know, I don't really mind where it is. Diflin is fine. Put it in the capital to be. All right, the demand conversion using a hook. Demand conversion using a hook. Oh, I thought I would get that. Ransom for a favor. I really thought I would gain the duchy here. Uh, dude, I hate it when that happens. Because I had a hook on him, he's like, you know, I want a thing for you, and then I will not bargain for your soul. And then I can't demand it from him, but then I'm like, then I would revoke your titles with a hook. But that's still considered tyranny. But screw you, I'm gonna take it. There you go. Uh, guess we're just gonna, little, little war over here, re-raising this army. Telling you to get the heck out of the territory that we just recently conquered. Uh, a reasonable point. I will lose some prestige for some piety. Don't really know. Well, actually, we do know why. Because we kind of want to have a chance at reforming the faith. And for that, we need piety. There we go. Known for our dedication to our faith. Mm, split it up again. Losing some men is annoying, but it's not the end of the world, so I am actually going to push through. In order to get a major a siege started everywhere. How is Holland doing? Holland is still of the wrong culture. So, let's get you transformed. Oh, the days that this will no longer be an issue. We have discovered Causes Belli. That is in the previous, uh, sorry, previous era. This one. So we're now completely focusing on newer technology. Uh, Berthold died. Apparently that was uh, a rival of mine. Sometimes I don't even know why a rival exists. Sometimes in the game I'm like, yeah, I understand why that is a rival. I mean, he was an ass to me, but this time I'm like, I don't know who that is, dude. There you go. You can pay for your freedom. You're almost ready to pay for your freedom. Another two children lacking guardians. This keeps happening. You want to be a rogue? I don't have a rogue. I need to find you somebody else. Half done. You can be done by me. Realm will lose land when a person dies. Yeah, you know what? The funny thing is, I don't think that's all going to be an issue because... Well, never mind. Hold on. 100% war. Uh, I must decline. I'm a little busy. Controlling all that is... All, all our new lands. And while this man accepted his conversion, his forced conversion, and she hasn't yet, so uh, ransom you for a favor. And you guys are going to lose all your land. I try to be Cagliari. Boom. Revoke title. This is considered tyranny. 
Revoke title. Boom. Screw you, people. You didn't want to listen. Well, now you are gonna have to suffer the consequences. Uh, boy. Yeah. Um. Where's the son that lost that hasn't got a land yet? You. Currently, uh, I'm gonna give you two because this guy will want his terrain back, which is why I'm gonna keep him imprisoned for some time being, uh, basically until he dies. And uh, otherwise, I'm going to grant you at least another Norse person to uh, stand by your side. There you go, and I'm gonna grant you the Ardom of Sardinia. Congratulations! And with that, I think our succession should be safeguarded. Yep, everything is gonna go to the first son, because all the other sons have a duchy which is why it wasn't so bad if we had at least one dude uh, you are now you have the proper religion so i'm more than i'm gonna let you actually basically go i don't know why i would go for free money i would rather want whatever that was a misclick yeah she can all they can all be there Yeah, because what I wanted on you was a favor. I got a favor on you, so the magic conversion, using a hook. There you go. We got a hook on you, so we can modify your feudal contract. Have to, look, have to make a look at that, because sometimes these feudal contracts... Oh boy. He's got a lot of nice claims. Ooh, baby, we probably will fight for one of those. You've got claims on Italy. A Dutch of Pisa, Grand City of Arzeno. What a Dutch of Pisa. Apparently I can't do for can't do for more, I would have expected you. Because you also have Genoa. Who also Dutch of Genoa then? Nobody, nobody apparently. And what did the other Dutch you have a claim to? Tuscany. Maybe I can only fight for claims that are right next door? That could be a thing. But hey, Italy. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, 750 prestige. Oh no, how terrible. I don't know how to attack. Uh, raise all here. Bless be Odin. Alright, so they have converted to a proper religion. They can pay for the release. That's my daughter. Drowned. Oh, I didn't realize I had a hook on this queen. These Frankia changes so constantly in their their here she's still at war. That was a liberty war. It, it constantly triggers. Oh boy. By the way, son, I want to teach my grandson. All right. Well, at least we have managed to uh, take care of quite a few things. Holy smorgasbord. 150 gold and 150 prestige. Don't mind if I do. Another big chunk of money there. You can finally pay for your release. Congratulations, you have done it. You can marry. You know what? You don't need to have, per se, inheritable traits. Actually, yes I do, because I want you to keep smart. Matrilineal? Hanover. Sure. We're marrying a little bit into uh, German families over here. So that we can get uh, some... Poof! A, a, a show of the fact that we, uh, we are now rulers over Francia, 
as well as getting a little bit better acquainted with the families over there. I don't think it does anything in particular, but hey, it feels right. Well, which realm will lose land? You. Because you are part of, which is part of, Lotharingia. Alright, so Lotharingia, you are also on my peep list. <clears throat> that means I'm going to kill them hard. Uh, do, 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 do. We don't need these troops. Just a waste of good troops to do that. Uh, we're gonna disband you. Now, now it's to see. Yeah, I, I was sure that they were going to fight somewhere in my supposedly soft underbelly of Italy. But you know what the funny thing is? In this game, you can instantly call troops everywhere within your realm. Let that be. Very close by. There you go. Kill the guy with our champion. And there is their first defeat. It's probably gonna be one of many. I love that, that particular trait that we got that allows us to ransom people for money and prestige. Because it's it's basically funding our causes bellies. Uh, declarations which constantly say, tell you like hey dude here now it doesn't cost any manpower so why wouldn't I w walk this way sometimes I, I don't like the pathing it in uh, this program in CK3 it seems to be very bad and understanding hey this is will cost you attrition attrition is a bad thing for your army if you just move one click away it will not happen Painful. And we're gonna leave a siege here. I'm gonna leave. Hold on. Not that way. Because I think I was now about to leave all the knights. Which is exactly the ones that I want up here fighting Italy. Oh, and there's again the pathing. I wanted to go for this county. And I think I even. You could see that because I clicked in this county, but no. There you go. Uh, you are pretty bad at 14. My daughter is 16, though. It's not like that is a big improvement. Apparently, we don't really have a very good chancellor, from, uh, Goaty. Somebody's trying to kill somebody, sure. And uh, we should look into one of our guests who had a claim on some, some king. Who are you? Five. Sure, we'll go closer to forming a friendship. You know what? Let's host a feast. Because I need some stress relief. It's not like we lack money. Because of the... Sheer amount of ransoms we are... Mm, getting paid to our empire. Oh, it's another duke. You still don't have the cash. You haven't had the cash at the very freaking beginning. Um, I know that probably if I kept some of these children, I could do something funny with it. Like uh, getting a, a, a nice uh, concubine child with interesting claims. But, you know, uh, that's not all this is for. Sure, I still apparently don't have a reveler trait. So that is a little bit more costly than I had expected. Uh, we'll distract people, getting a favor hook on the Duchess of Sudliar. Well, let's modify your contract with doing that then. Um, why don't you pay some a little bit higher taxes to me, huh? Who are you? Count of Herefordshire. Okay. Interesting. You're still alive. Congratulations. You did better than I expected. Neighbor won the war. Kingdom of... Poland. Yeah, they're neighboring us a little too much, but sure. I think final. No, you're losing this war. Really? Against a single count? Uh, they have way more troops than I expected. 
Why do you have seven thousand troops? You have four thousand levies. Wow. Denmark. He and his wife used to be queen, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a liberty ward. It's not a for his wife's claim, interestingly enough. There we go, eager reveler. Let's get ourselves a nice little trade. Sure. No. Yes. And uh, we're actually a bit about out of ransoms. My son over here. Why don't you pay a little bit more taxes? Thank you very much. This son. Why don't you pay a little bit more taxes? Thank you very much. Pay a little bit more taxes. Hey, you know the drill by now. Uh, you can't pay me taxes or anything, but I'm still going to increase the... Like, it doesn't actually give me money, but everything else is fine. Um... Oh, I think we just got a setback on that seat. Uh, pull out of Brescia. Uh, sorry, Lucia. Don't know why I thought it was Brescia. Siena just fell. That was very good, because then we can move into Pisa. Which I think... That's within your country, so that's not really going to upset this war. Uh, this is interesting. You're going for Pope lands. Did you know... Do you know what we did to the Pope? We're going to do the same thing to your troops. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not happening. What happened? Drowned as well. The Duke of Spoleto. So who now holds this title? Oh, my firstborn son. Okay. Who apparently lack uh, is 300 prestige lacking. Well, that's just wonderful. Not. Uh, I apparently clicked on the church. Pisa is a city-state. I really should attack that. Guess my thinking of... No, remember what we did to the Pope thing? Got my brain mixed up on... What it was actually that we were fighting. 63%. Italy, you can't hope to win. Seriously. It would be better for your men to just lay down your arms and say... You will get the entire country and we will go as through. But something tells me you won't. And you know what? I actually can understand that. Taking a prisoner, flatten a fur, uh, the old Duke of Munster. Oh boy, do you. I hope this family line uh, ugly. Uh, slowly being bred out of it. Snafari is going to change out, but then they're going to get into. Wait. Is this our dynasty? Yeah, it is our dynasty. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, you laugh it up. It's one of the most powerful families in Europe. The Habsburgers had an extra till at the end. An extra little bone uh, at the end of the spine, giving them a till. So, for example, oh, exaggerated, of course, on the size of it, but hey. That's not where it counts. It counts that they had a till. Boom! Grab it! Mm. And with that, you have become more powerful and you love me now all of a sudden. Because we have given you additional territory. We will ransom you for a favor. Uh, Sienna, yep. The banjo conversion using a hook. 94% chance of success. I reckon that that will go. Just fine. No collect and disband. Thank you. Blessed be Odin. Oh, the Italians. They're finally learning their place. Hey, you are an independent countess. Uh, I could make her happier, but I don't think I really need that. Seize the du jour county? That's a hundred. There you go. This is going to be a very short war. 
do we want to start another thing? Hold on. Before I start raising troops, didn't we have... No, that is a, it's a very small... Was that car? That is the, the, where the French, the, the English had the longest uh, the train, right? Yeah. Or, or I think one of the longest. You. We apparently do not have a claim to your kingdom title, which I thought we kind of had. That's the jour hours. Yeah, it's 8,000, man. Let's wait until Lotharingia inevitably breaks apart. Because he has two sons, and he has Burgundy and Lotharingia. Uh, Friuli wouldn't be a bad idea, because we do need to conquer all of that. But this looks like a very poor uh, line of attack. And then there's the Byzantine Empire. Uh, here I think... Whoa! That is weird. Uh, we could attack there for this guy's claim. Oh, sorry. What is this guy's claim? Same duchy, all right. This guy's claim? That is very far inland and not very important. I think we need to wait until we can immediately conquer Sicily. Because that would probably be the best there. I didn't raise any men. Silly me. I'm at war. I mean, I know it's going to be an easy war, but it is like a... This is a little overconfident, thinking that I will win a war with no men. It's not like they're going to lay down and die. I mean, once again, that is the most prudent decision. But not the decision I reckon they will take. Did I... Oh, I did click all and uh, raise all here. Just took a while for that to... Uh, go here. These these are enough. Bye bye. There we go. But uh, yeah, this is a hopscotch of an empire. Do I have to admit now that we have the isles over here? We are starting to form the isles over here and uh, part of it. And of course, we're going to get Malta and Sicily as well. Once we get Sicily the kingdom. That is a short hop going over to, to Crete. In order to, uh, well, basically get all the isles that we said we would get. But I am also more than willing... Or willing, I need to grab a little bit over here in Azatruland. Wait a second... How did Sweden swore fealty and then he became a king? Uh, no. We won back our holy land. Darn. The Norse need to reinvade their old territories in order to safeguard the religion. That's just weird, man. That's a weird thing that happened there. Uh, sure, ransom him. Ransom her. Can't afford it yet. You're getting there. Good. Uh, you. I had an idea that I had totally forgotten to do. All for guardianship. Norse convert culture. Will become Norse. Excellent. Uh, craven, lazy, or arbitrary. Well, now uh, let's make him arbitrary. At least then he won't probably be voted on as becoming. Hey, let's put that son on the throne instead of your first heir, who is now a double duke, mind you. He's gonna inherit quite a bit of land. Like something of a till I must have it, or focused attention. Like something of a till I must have it, let's go, let's go for it. Might have gotten away this time, yes. But we will get you another time. Was it, was it Gadget? I will get you next time, Gadget. I think that was Gadget, right? Dang, I'm getting old. Uh, by the by. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, not all. Uh, this daughter. You have come of age, they said. So I say. Why don't you marry this chap? 
Matrilineal, apparently. Excellent. You. Why don't you marry... Uh, he's a lord. Norse. Matrilineal. And also of a good family. Oh, sorry. I thought it was the house Yitta for a moment. Oh, Z Zaguder is now a ruler here. Wasn't this Yitta? No, it's always of Zaguder. Am I... Yutta, there it is. I thought it was that and that family and dynasty. I only apologize for those who were like easily like new you numb nuts. I only apologize. Excellent, I have no idea what uh yeah, that is the marriage acceptance. Thank you. You two two court. Once again. Perfect for an incredible champion. Don't know why he isn't actually. Champions. Force. Thank you. Better champions. Oh, yeah, the siege is not going to go anywhere when I pause, right? Yeah, I think that, that is a problem. Oh, well, that's not this bad now. Negotiate your release, recruit, and demand conversion. Hold on a minute. I found my new concubine. <laughs> Herculean? Yes, please. Mm, there we go. And... Boom. And this little, uh... Victory. Hey, wait a second. Your father was a Duke. Of Genoa. And she has accepted. There we go. That is an, a, quite a bit of a conquest now, isn't it? Pope, are you still the same Pope? Yeah, we could just go for the Prince, Prince Bishop Prick of Firenze. I mean, we need to get the Pope all landed. It's a thing. Um. Or was this the Pope we took everything from? I have the feeling this is the Pope we took everything from, but. We will conquer the county. We will do this. I know this is. It's not like it's very interesting, but. How am I going to put this? If if you if you were an historian and you would read about around the year thousands when the great empire of man in the isles attacked, uh, this is not going to raise in time enough. These men are dead. My mistake. Raise quicker. There we go. Now we're in, a, in such a number than that the Pope rethinks his strategy. <laughs> I was a little too bold. Wait, did I lose my pirates? Hold on, did he just destroy all the young Viking? No, they did not. They just weren't aren't raised at this moment. All right, uh, let's first beat up the Pope a little bit. Well, not the Pope. Well, may, may, maybe the Pope, but most of the time the Pope doesn't lead his troops. There you go. He had some mercenary captain, I reckon, who has a good trait to fight as holy warrior. We are fighting only with levies. We have no men at arms at this moment. But we have sheer number on them. Hey yo! Latner Dynasty, you've known far and wide. Council position. There you go. Anglo Saxon. This guy. Uh, is he the heir? No, he is the heir. Probably too late to do something about it, but we can always try. Convert culture. Is likely to become Norse. We can both try. Excellent. And he's hired even more troops, because he is the Pope with nearly insatiable amounts of money. Uh, Jurabi. I, I don't think he was in my forces, so... That's a bit interesting. Well, Dynasty there is still secure that, that we will keep that county. So, uh, why don't we siege down these two things, right? And do we have a seizure? Nope, because my son is uh, still firmly in control of his duchy. 
It's unfortunate that this wife only gave him one daughter who did keep her beauty. If necessary, we will can, we can simply disinherit that, that one child. That one son if we don't think he's good enough. You gave away all the money you needed to buy your own freedom. You Wally. I know not Wally Amma. I, I, I meant Duke Onzo. Yeah, you go ahead and, and try and siege. This is not gonna help you at all. Now if I back down, Pope is gonna die. Don't know why I hit escape. Guess she's gonna have to give it a try. Uh, I could be doing some useful things. Gain that extra stewardship. We can hold so much more land. But I've given away a lot of lands we conquered because A, either they weren't given to us. Brave again. Act, uh, but as for my grandson, that is pretty good. Because he doesn't have particularly strong things going for him. Okay. You. I think it's time that we actually try to mm, convert the capital over here. Hildegarde. This boy. All for guardianship. I would do it myself, but... Stewardship, right? My half-sister. Convert culture. Will become Norse. Convert faith. Oh. I did not realize that my half-sister had gone Catholic. There you go. Don't know why she did that, but... Hey, Pope man. Oh, we captured you again! And this time you don't even have the money to pay yourself free. So your soldiers won't even be able to siege before they get the message that the Pope has been captured. And that the Azatru Emperor demands the immediate disbanding of the army. Or else you shall take the head of your head of religion. Well then, that's another episode and I think we are making some gains here. Certainly. But for now, I say I thank you for watching and remember great peril yields great beauty.